and sneaker podcast in the north, probably. Yeah, we said that last time. It's a fact. Our Wikipedia. I actually did. like it. <laughs> our Wikipedia. I, I, our Wikipedia did it. Yeah, no, it's and cool because you can edit Wikipedia yourself, so it could say that. We could make it say that. Someone make it say that. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jack. And I'm Max. And we are Firmed. Uh, we talk about shoes. We're going to go through all the latest updates in the sneaker world. It's a big week for yeah. news it's and chunky. gossip. Big week for news and gossip. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we had a big <coughs> Kanye West and Yeezy and Adidas incident. Man. Which we'll definitely get into. Uh, we've got some unboxings, including some Nike, some more Nike. Nah. New Balance as well. And New Balance. New Balance. Because um, yeah, we're not just a night channel. If you're new here, we are firmed. We talk about sneakers every week. We're from the UK, and that's kind of our character. Um, yeah. We filmed from my bedroom, hence why we are against the wall. And here is a poster I designed. I'm going to need something here. Yeah, if anyone knows any like small times that we actually know some, we should reach out, really. Mate, we've been proper <clears> slack <throat> of it. I think every time I come round, I'm like, we need something above, above my yes. head. <laughs> Which, no, if you design posters you know. and stuff, and I, I haven't already spoken to you, or if I've already spoken to you and I've forgotten that you do it, or or whatever, or I've just been too busy, reach out. Because I think we could get some of your artwork behind Max's head. Yeah, we need that. We need that artwork. Absolutely. So. Um, crazy week. Crazy There's a lot to week. talk about. Yeah, it's a bit of a about. madness, really, isn't a it? A lot to talk about. If you don't follow us on socials, um, you won't have seen a lot of the stuff that went down, mm. unless you're hiding under a rock, because it was all over Twitter and yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, before we start, before we get into anything, make sure you like this video, subscribe, maybe even leave a comment, because it actually helps us out. Um, we're a pretty small channel, so engaging we with our content. We need the help. <laughs> we, yeah, it really we helps We want to get our content so out So crack there, on. Uh, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good. I'm all right. Busy week. Good, good. week, though. Been yeah. working? Working, smashing gym. Taekwondo is good, but I rolled my ankle, so I didn't go gym today. But it's all right. It's not yeah. actually that bad. But, yeah, it's been a good week, actually. Good, man. I've good. It. You've been doing some more sneaker shopping, by the looks of it. You were in JD yeah, the other man. day. Yeah, man. Been, yeah, so JD, TK Maxx coming soon. We've got one in there. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, want to go back to that Nike outlet again, because that yeah, was that was, that yeah, was, that was my favourite one. That was my favourite one. If you don't sure. know what we're referring to, uh, head to our TikTok or our Instagram, and you'll be able to see the little sneaker shopping videos that yeah. uh, that you've been doing. Yeah. Um, and you can find some absolute heat in, in some of the DVDs yeah, and TV Yeah, Maxes there's some crazy now. stuff there. But just on the whole um, other social medias, <clears> you know, we, we post about, like, shot drops and stuff like that as well mm. on the TikTok, and we'll we'll give you some information on that. So, you know, run it up, follow us, and get that inside information. There you go, get you the know. inside information. Um, we'll go for a few bits. We'll go through. There's a lot to go from. I'm very excited yeah, about heavy. this video. Um, as soon as Max asks how I've been, then we'll carry on. Uh, how are you, my friend? It's every week. <laughs> I mate. know. I just like to take months really. Yeah. How are uh, you? I'm good. I'm good. Been busy. Uh, been working a lot, mm. which I'm not enjoying right now. But not because I don't enjoy the job or join the people. I'm just in a bit of a funk. Bit you know of a mean? funk. Bit when of a funk get... pop. No. <laughs> no, actually, not in a bit of a funk right. pop. Bit of a bit of a funk. I'm getting a bit disillusioned again. What's that mean? With work, I'm just like I want to just go home and record sneaker videos. Yeah. So then I'm at work in my retail job, going. Don't not like it. Really enjoy it. I give my hundred percent when I'm there. Mm. But you know what I mean? It's just that little in the back of my head. That little. I want to be at home or in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, but we're good. We're good. We're making more content. We are planning some sneaker store visits. Yeah, had a message from a local sneaker store today. Um, today being Thursday, the day before uh, the first of March, which is yeah. the day that you will watch this. Hopefully, and it's that leap year thing today, isn't it? <clears throat> it's a leap year, so this day doesn't really exist, which no. might be why I'm in a bit of a funk as well. Maybe, maybe. Um, but no, we are good. Yes, uh, but we are going to look at maybe starting a new series soon about visiting sneaker shops, this and the other. So stay tuned for that as well. Yeah, 100%. Um, so. Let's get right into what's been going on this week in the world of sneakers. Now, we always like to start with the releases, what's yeah, yeah, yeah. come out in the past week. Yeah. So, so what, what's, the, what's the earliest? It was the so, 26th that we... Uh, we recorded on, I believe we recorded on the 23rd. Yeah. I think it was the 23rd. Yeah, because <clears> on the Wednesday, on the 22nd of Feb, we had the Jound New Balance 2002 hours. And we were lucky enough to get a pair. We absolutely But obviously, were. the turnaround, New Balance couldn't ship them to us in time. So we've got them for this week. We've got them 20, to unbox. We recorded on the 22nd. The 23rd was the... Uh... No. Uh, it was one of the, one of the two days. Bro, I've got my diary. 
Bro, I've got the I've got I've got the production notes. But yeah, anyway, they they released on the Wednesday last week. Mm. So whenever that was, whatever date that was, yes. they released. We've got them. Should we talk about them later on when we get Amazing. them? Amazing. Yeah, we'll we'll yeah. unbox them very soon. I was really excited to get them in because um, we we we're, we're into New Balances now. Yeah, really. we're, a little bit. we're not just a Nike fanboy channel. Well, we are. We we yeah. absolutely are. Yeah. Um, but the New Balance. Yeah. So on the twenty fourth. We had the Jordan 1 High OG Black White, also known as the Reverse Pandas. The reverse Panda Jordan So, ones. you know when we were getting in, like, <clears throat> the Yellow Ochres and stuff like that? Yeah. I didn't want to do that again. <laughs> you know what I mean? We could have got them in to review, but it's like, what are we going to say about it, really? No, so, 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 we haven't got them, but they released on the Nike website. Probably at other retail as well. I didn't actually check, but they'll be everywhere. 175 they, um, quid. They weren't something that I was keen to no. be like, oh, let's get them on. No, I really want to know what they nah. look like. With the... Was it, is, is it leather? They were leather, weren't they? I don't even know, mate. This is how little I know about they this just, shoe, man. It's just, just a bit dead. Yeah, no, it's just a black, like a reverse black and white. It wasn't, it wasn't that impressive. We nah. know what the quality of Jordan ones are like at the minute. You know what it is. If if people really want, we'll yeah. get some in and we'll we'll continue with that. But yeah. honestly, like I think there's just, there's better stuff coming out. And I think there's still some sneakers in. as well. Yeah, yeah, so you can pick them up, man. Ain't a big deal. No, and then on the twenty fourth, that's the same day actually. We had the Nike undefeated Terra Humana. Is that right? Humara. Is Humara? Humara. Maybe. I think it's Humara. Humara. Yes, undefeated. Uh, we mentioned that in last week to keep an eye out for. They were on sneakers as well. They did drop a bit earlier in an event with undefeated. Uh, oh, really? at Nike in London. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a nice shoe, a nice shoe, a it's bit loud. of a, a bit of a gop core kind of deal. Um, yeah, it's Terra Humara, in my bad. Yeah, um, but obviously Terra is like uh, means Earth. All right. So um, we we can see what the kind of crack is. They look they they look like a bit of a walking shoe. Oh, yeah, by yeah. the way, you should see the picture of the shoe here now because I have transitioned to a new. Uh, Oh yeah, video editor where I now put things on the screen. Oh yeah, so you'll now see a picture of it here if you haven't already seen it. Perfect. Um, I'm really excited yeah. about that actually. Um, but yes, these are the Terra Humaras. They came in two colorways. There was a green one and a blue. There was like a really loud, bright blue sort of yeah neon color. Um, that's the only ones that I saw. They were nice. They were nice. Um, yeah, another one of them. They're sat everywhere. Well, they're not sat. A few sizes missing, but um, we could have got them in. But it's like few things coming out kind of we could we could get them in if we're you know short on stuff to review but i, don't, I think there's some absolutely big things coming up absolutely I think, so. and that's the thing sometimes we do videos where we review, review five sets of shoes but this week like there's a lot of news that i want to go yeah. out of it so could have been wanna... one of those we could have got those and we could have got the jordan ones in. uh yeah so moving swiftly on to the 27th and the 28th we've got the nike air max plus drift uh, nice a new silhouette Yes, yeah, so it's like a TN, mm. but there's a lot more. Uh, it's a lot more three D. There's a lot more embossing yeah. on the the waves and the palm trees, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and did we get them? We got a pair. So because the, there was four, because <laughs> the, there was four colorways. Yeah. So we, we weren't getting them all in, right? <clears throat> no, but I mainly wanted to see the the new design rather than yeah, like, the colorways. Cool, you can you can see yourself. It's but, cool. Uh, I will put those. Yep. Here, they will already have been there. That that might be me getting rid of them because I'm well yeah. excited. <laughs> like that. <laughs> They're gonna Isn't be it? gunshots. Yeah. So. What's <laughs> going on now? <laughs> so yesterday, on the 29th of Feb, we've got the Nike SB Dunk Low City of Love Pack, Burgundy Crush, and Light Bone. These were the sneakers release because um, skate stores have been getting these in a lot earlier. There was a few supply issues as well, I believe, with the Burgundies and the um, what is that? The Burgundies and the um, the Light Bones. Because some skate stars were getting the burgundies in early, and then yeah. they didn't have another light bone one for like mm. a week. But yeah, the the sat on sneakers, so yeah. it, it's Did slept we on. We got the light bone. <laughs> we got them here. Oh no, we got both. No, we don't have them here. We don't have them here. No. They come next week. No, but we got both. Come in review. Come cool. Soon. We'll do a review next week. It's really irritating about these city loves um, because they were announced at the end of last year. Yeah. Uh, as part of like the sneakers uh, lookbook going forward. Um, and they were meant to come out for Valentine's Day, or they, yeah, they weren't meant to, I guess. But they, it was, all, it was just assumed. Yeah, it's all do you know what I mean? Like, oh, up. these are a Valentine's Day shoe. Yeah, and then we got them at the end of February. Yeah. Um. So we'll have them next week to do a proper review on. But they are SBs, so you know how much we love an SB. <laughs> yeah, man. So um, we'll get them in. No, absolutely. Oh, we are going to get them in. <laughs> absolutely. Well, and so we then, got... last but not least, on the same day, 
the 29th of Feb, the Yeezy 350 V2 Steel Grey on Adidas Confirmed. That draw was today. We will park that there and we will talk about that in the news section. Yeah. And of course we had a shock drop in the middle of the week. We did have a shock drop. Should we in the pull that in the news week? or should we um, should we crack on to some unboxing? Yeah, let's crack on with some boxing. Some unboxing. That's a bit of a news roundup. So right. uh, of those pairs that came out in the past week, um obviously we said we got the City of Loves, but uh, with with their sneakers drop we just don't have them here yet. Yeah. Um we did get the Air Max are they called the TN Drifts or the Air Max Plus Drifts? Air Max Plus Drifts. Let's just read the box, because we have them. <laughs> Go on, then. Amazing. Amazing. Go on then, let's get them out. <clears throat> So, uh, a little Ooh. bit of Air Max T... Oh, I'm caught on the back. <laughs> Here we go. A little bit of Air Max TN history. Well, who's the guy who designed them again? Oh, bro. Sean McDowell. Sean McDowell. Max, Bang. you you told me, actually, on, on a, an episode, that uh, he designed the TNs after, like, he was sat on a beach. He was sat on a beach. After palm trees and waves. I'm so glad you remembered his name, because that would have been embarrassing for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's, it's, a lot, it's dialed in, bro. I got it now. But, no, that's cool, though, remembering names. Um, so these are a take on the Air Max Plus, but they're yeah. branded as a new silhouette, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, crack on, mate. Let's yeah, crack on. So what's the colourway? I'll read the side. Uh, so it's actually called, what are they called? The... S- Grey sunsets, but on the box it says light smoke grey black. Okay, but yeah. you'll oh, see nice white sunset. Easy. You'll see um, white sunset when we get these out. There you go. Right, a bit of a madness. You know what? Right, they're heavy, bro. So you can definitely see how they're an Air Max Plus. They're a hundred percent a TN. Tune. We'll put the box back there. Oh, look at that Mate, outer sole. That, ice, that iced out sole is to die for, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I like them 100% right. I, I've seen a lot of people hating on this shoe. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smells so, great. So this pair, uh, they released on the Tuesday. What date was that? Do you know the date of that? Tuesday. What was Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday will have been the 27th. Yeah. And was then that they, this week? Yeah. yeah and so, the, so Tuesday this week on the 27th. These dropped alongside three other colorways. They were the All Day Green Vaults and the Sunset Grey. Uh, what was they called? Sunset Grey Sunsets. Um, and then the day after that on sneakers, there was the Cacao Wows, which also dropped. I think that was the most sought after out of all of them. The Cacao Wows. Yeah, I they were like a reverse kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nice. Yeah, so there's a really nice sunset gradient from the oh, mate, it's dark, so nice. so from the got... dark red to the yellow to the blue. Yeah, so we've got blue top corner. Let me move all the way down to that dark red there. That outer sole, I'm really impressed with because it's a big, thick, chunky sole. Yeah. And you can see at the front here, uh, the big outer sole there that's built in. Mate, feel the insole. T and air on the bottom, which. Bro, feel the insole. Two sex. Okay. Which isn't symmetrical, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> like, it's not off, it's built like that, you know what I'm saying? I looked at it and I was like, why is that not? Uh, the insole. Yeah, it's super cushioned, do you not think? Very cushioned. Very cushioned. So, what do we know about these? Uh, not a right lot. I don't know why Nike decided to create this new sort of silhouette, mm-hmm. but one thing I do know... Right, it's not a new silhouette, is it? It is. It, I mean, mate, I'll tell you what. I saw a comparison between a normal TN and this TN. Mm-hmm. The width is huge. The, like, this, these are so yeah, fat no. compared to the other So ones. one thing about um, TNs is they're light, they're quite streamlined. The first thing you said was these are heavy, and I can tell it's the sole. It's so Because like, that yeah. sole's thick. The outer sole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've still got, obviously, the bubbles uh, on the bottom, the classic tuned air bubbles, um, and a big embossed tuned air on the back. Yeah, I really like these. Yeah. I would yeah. definitely have these. I would have been interested to see like, the other colours. I think you'd like the Cacao Wilds. Yeah, no, I, I, I do like them. Uh, I but I think these are... You know what? Yeah, like, okay. I think, yeah, they've been received, like, a bit of a mixed bag. But do you know what? There's a red pair. That's the old day one. And then, you, do you remember Call of Duty Ghost Extinction mode, bro? What, the alien? One? Yeah, bro, it looks like that. <laughs> I'm telling you, no, I think these are a true-to-size job, because TNs, I think it's often you go This is the first size time up. in 17 episodes that I've just put a shoe on. Yeah, it is, actually. Take them off. No, but I think with normal TNs, you go half a size up. Well, these ones, I mean, might be true-to-size. You like them, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. No, you know what? I, I don't think I can hate on them. I get the... There's the extinction mode. Do you know, do you, mate, they look the like, eggs. They look like just Put the aliens, bro. Yeah, 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 you'll see, you'll see. You kill the eggs, don't you? I yeah, think. it looks like that. Uh, no, I'd 100% have these. Yeah, they look good, actually, on foot. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, with, especially with the sock. I don't. I just don't think I'd. Yeah, mad. No, big. I like yeah. them. I'm not going to smell them again. I don't know. No. I nearly went to smell them again. Nah, you don't want to do that. So yeah, these. I'm going to keep these. Okay. You do that. I will. Okay. You do. That. <laughs> it's so good running a sneaker review channel. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's just sure. like, oh, did you want these? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you can Company keep them, expense. Mate. Keep it. I'm not. Uh, quality is really good. They're really nice and thick. It's, an, uh, it's a strong build, mate. It feels really it's durable. It's a big, strong build, isn't it? I really like these. I I'm think a big fan. I've got a pair of all black Air Max 95s, and they have like done miles, and they are super, super, super beat. But yeah. they're still going, you know what I mean? But, but what's they, the hate that they're getting on them? Is it just pure? I think it just looks ridiculous. No. Some people think it looks ridiculous. But if you want a durable shoe, this is definitely the way to go. I think these are just going to be like a tank, to be honest. Yeah. No, I completely You'll be able agree. to do miles in these. Because they've got such a thick sole as well. Like, um, like it, it's almost like a walking sole. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, they, they've it got looks tread. Like it, looks like it could be a proper, like, mountaineering boot. Yeah. No, I'm I'm a big fan. Big yeah. Fan. Cool. I mean, I quite like it, to be fair. So this but... is a new silhouette. Uh, well, it's, it's a new take on the TNs, right? So who knows what they'll do with them in the future. But yeah. we got them in. Uh, yeah, so just a little quick one about that. £185 sat on Nike. The Cacao Wows was on sneakers. I think they've sold out on sneakers, but Offspring, Seven Star, and other retailers like that, I've got them in. And you can maybe, I think you can use discounts if you've got uni days, something like that. So get them for a bargain price. Amazing. Yeah, yeah class. I, I really liked them. I really liked them. Yeah, you know what? I wasn't, out, out of the pa the ones we're unboxing today, mm. I didn't think, I thought I was maybe least excited about them. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't super hyped up when we were mm. reading the release calendar last week, but I mean, getting them in, it's interesting, man. It's presently surprised. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I, I I like how they're just a bit of a tank, actually. Absolutely. I quite like that. I like the durability of cool. them. Cool. Uh, but yeah, grab them if you want them. I'd, I'd definitely grab them just to even have a look at If you can go into any stores, um, yeah. and have a look at them. Yeah, you can't really make an impression. I mean, you can oh, see. Oh, I know see what they look like. What? They look like Salomons. They do a bit. They do. They've got thin lacing, which obviously Salomon has that, that really thin, wiry lacing. They do a bit. They do. They, they don't that. look like them, but they got, they've got they got the down, vibe. Going down that avenue. Yeah. They're a TN mixed with a Salomon. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I think definitely go check out like your stars because you can see all the pictures you want online, but I think getting them, getting them in hand could, yeah, no, it could, it could, the game, it? could swing your opinion the other way, you know what I mean? So cool. we have one more shoe to unbox. One more shoe. One more shoe. New Balance. Should we do it? Absolutely. So these are the Jowns. So Max, what happened with this? Oh mate, I had a stinker. I blame New Balance for this. So I don't know if you'll be able to see on the light. So disappointing. Go on. So you're the Max light, was man. opening the box of these that they came in, and he's absolutely slashed across the. New Balance logo with his keys. Yeah, I got the keys and just... So I'm going to open these. Destroyed it. Because I'm actually really disappointed. Um, lovely box. <laughs> nice presentation. Uh, so we've got Gore-Tex to keep you dry. Yes. And we've got the jammed uh, inscription on the side, which is all in gold. Very, very nice. So what can you tell me about these, Max, before I open them? Uh, so, yeah, they're released on the New Balance website on the 22nd or 23rd of February. Mm -hmm. They had a little restock today, uh, but they just flew. Um, Today is in yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it's, it's yesterday, sorry. Um, got an email for that actually. Yeah, so the 170 quid retail, all sold out. They're released in the pine and the charcoal colorway, I believe. And these are the pines. And these are the pines, because so, the charcoal were phew, gone. We've got the jowned paper, so it's jowned. Uh, I thought it was only three J's. Turns out it's four J's. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, Look at these. Ooh. Are they? Yeah, so these are made of Gore-Tex. They are 2002R, yeah. which is arguably one of my favourite um, New Balance yeah. uh, models. However, it's it's, pr it's probably the most popular one at the minute in terms of collaborations I'd and things so. like that. Yeah. Um, so we, we, this and the 1906s. Yeah. Um, 1906, they definitely pushed this year, or last 2023. Yeah, but, you know, even before, like, we had a protection pack of the 2002Rs, and then we had a protection pack of the uh, 1906s as well, so they're getting around, they're getting the treatment. We've got spare green laces, but they come 
What's the technology called? I so it's just, it a, it's, it's just a toggle system, really, and yeah. it's often found on hiking sort of boots. Absolutely. And with this in Gore-Tex. Yeah, so the material breakdown is a suede here. What is Gore-Tex, Max? Gore-Tex is a material called Polytetra. Oh! <laughs> Polytetra <laughs> fluoroethylene. Specifically, what Gore Tex was. Because yeah. we, we've obviously heard about it, we know about yeah. really what it is, and like it's used in a lot of like. Polytetra fluoroethylene. Essentially, it's Teflon. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't That's know what it is. That, it's just actually. a fancy name for it. Yeah. So you've got the Basically. suede upper with a mesh, and then it's a Gore Tex membrane, so it's all the inside. I oh, think uh, that's, that's what, you know, because all the inside's going to be Gore Tex, but the materials. I've, I mean, I've seen people. Pouring water on them, mate, and it's just just dripping off straight off. Yeah, it's super cool. Cool. We've obviously got the uh, two uh, two thousand and two R shape with the panels on the front. These look a lot thinner. They look like Harachis from the front. <laughs> you think? I might be completely off there, but um, I really like the toggle, uh, and it does actually have Jound written on it, which is absolutely incredible. Yeah, lovely little details like that. Um, these are really sound. Yeah, these are really Jown. Jown, <laughs> Jown projects, Jown.com. So we've seen a few Jown projects yeah. um, with New Balance, specifically with New Balance, actually. Um, yeah. But there was these. These are the Pine Greys. And here you will see the Charcoals as well. Um, I prefer these. I think I do as well. I think, I don't know. I think the charcoal might, the charcoal was popular, but I feel like it's more popular because it's similar to the 2002 app protection pack, you know, the all black one. Yeah, like and the, if you can't get that, people then you love get the this black one, out. You know. Oh mate, I remember trying to get those in yeah. size launches. The protection packs were class. Yeah. Um, this is a, this is a nice shoe. I think super slept on for a jammed collab. Uh, I can't remember what the blue pair was called, but they released a blue pair. We've got lovely material on here, you know. Yeah, it's nice in it. And the quality is really, really good. Yeah, um, yeah, really I, li I like blue. the sort of outdoorsy vibe to these, man. I think um, it goes well with that whole gop core thing. I yeah, think. I mean, they are the pine yeah. greens, right? And um, New Balance venturing into, not venturing, they've been there a while, but moving into that space, especially using like Gore-Tex stuff, because yeah. um, Gore-Tex have worked with many a brand in the past. Like there's, as I said before, there's some MX 90s, I think, oh, I remember specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, these are super nice. I would also have these... I don't yeah. want to put them on. Yeah, no. I don't think they're... These are a size 10.5. Well, yeah, no. Yeah, no. We, need to, we need to stop buying shoes in our size. That's the problem. Yeah, no. For some reason, I, uh, when, I have a, when, when I go Funky. to buy a pair of shoes in, uh, for the show, mm. I always buy my size for some reason. It's a really bad habit, and I don't recommend it. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not bothered what size we get if we're just reviewing them, do we? No, but it's like, so there's something nice about getting them in your size, I don't know. Durably waterproof reliably breathable yeah so Gore-Tex is supposed to be waterproof breathable and windproof and rugged uh, not rugged but sort of durable yeah. should I say and I don't know I feel like <laughs> imagine a comparison what lasts longer these are them on well, a walk well <laughs> this is a really good, uh, good thing actually because this is I guess the outdoor episode this is the outdoor episode um, because both shoes we've got feel very outdoorsy I'll give you one they're really durable Give me one. Actually, oh, they feel really I'll take the drift, you take the balances. There you go. Just, just throw them at you. Uh, because one thing I keep forgetting to do is like posing for a bit of a thumbnail, and we should really do this off camera, but you're here to watch it anyway. Yeah. At least uh, one up on the thing. There we go. Um, right. These are really nice. I really like them. We're obviously, every week, if you are new here, we choose between a pair of shoes that we unbox to commit to a soul cube. Yeah, it's got to be done. This is a soul cube. Uh, the ultimate sneaker storage. Uh, and we, as I say, commit a pair. And then at the end of the year, we go back, we look through all the pairs that we committed to soul yeah. cube. There should be 52. <laughs> um, and we decide which one's our favourite. Yep. What are you saying, mate? I... Do we go along the hype route? So, here's my take. And then I'll happily welcome yours and ignore it. No, no. Uh, here's my take. I feel like I knew what they were going to be like. Okay. Yeah, right. And, and, right, not, and right, I know this right. is a new silhouette, but it's also a TN. I feel like I, I just, even without seeing them... Is it quite predictable? Th not even predictable, just I knew the quality was going to be good. I knew the... That it was going to be outdoorsy, there was going to be an earthy colour, this, that and the other. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. 
They're nice. They're really nice. But for me, like you've been caught out by them, I think. I've you? been really caught out because I would have. If you'd have asked me at the start of the episode, I'd have said that. Mate, like always going to be the drowned in it, really on paper. Yeah. But for these, I think they're new. They're a bit exciting. The souls are crazy. Yeah. Um, the TN wins for me. The drift. <sighs> You know, that's a tough one. I really love this shoe. But mm-hmm. you know what? I, I like the idea that you've been caught out by that. Yeah. And I respect it. So I'm happy for that to be Lovely. To These are so heavy. Yeah. And I put one on. Big tanks. Lovely. So, the winner this week, and the one we will commit to the Soul Cube, is the Air Max Plus Drift. Would you like to do the ad read for the Soul Cube? It's not an ad. It's not yeah. an ad. Would you so, like to tell us all about Soul Cube, Max? Well, Soul Cube is the number one sneaker storage, and you can go to soulcube.co.uk and use Firmed at checkout. The discount code Firmed, and you'll save yourself some money. And we all love to save money. We absolutely do. So we're in a cosy living crisis. Yeah. So I head think, over to the Soul. I think we're in a recession. Yet. Recession. We're in the whole lot, mate. So you've got to save yourself some money and use Firmed at checkout. Look at all these expensive things you're buying because you keep watching us buy them. <laughs> yeah. Where are you putting them? Under your bed. It stinks. I said that before and I really yeah, liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but genuinely, uh, Soul Cube save our bacon a lot of the time. And also, save yourself some money. Use code FIRMED at checkout. Lovely stuff. There you go. That was good unboxing. That was good unboxing this week. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I was just thinking, like, it's just a thing that we're getting in just to fill a mm. spot for the unboxings and get another unboxing in. But you know what? Fair one, dude. And one thing I, I think I really like Nike for is... Even if they recreate an old silhouette, it mm. still feels original. Yeah, it's reimagined. <laughs> well, even so, like it, it does. It still yeah, feels yeah, original. Yeah. Everything usually feels fresh. I keep seeing articles, people saying um, Nike are maybe dying down. Maybe uh-huh. like, where's the creativity gone? And I can't speak overall, right? Because uh, you know, it's just an opinion. But um, I really like what they're doing a lot of time. I think the quality is shite a lot of the time. But I really do like what Nike are doing. And I think, I was thinking about it earlier, in terms of, we, we've ended up just being a Nike fan channel all the time, right? <laughs> because Just because like the ones we get in the class. And I, I was thinking about yeah. that and the battle like, with Adidas and how Adidas are saying, right, we're going to be the Nike. You don't know what we've got coming, this, that and the other. Um, and like... I think fuck Adidas. Bro, you were, that was a good segue because I was trying to get there. <laughs> Fuck Adidas is the new thing. Um, that he, here we are, right in twenty twenty four, and we're still talking about Yeezys and Adidas. Mate, this was twenty twenty two, but this all kicked off. October. October. Tw- Here's the timeline. Yeah, October yeah. twenty twenty two. Kanye and Adidas or Yeezy, laptop, the, the brand, and Adidas part ways. Kanye made some comments, um, were some anti Semitic comments, things like this. Um, and they decided to part ways, which, to be honest, is uh, it, it happens. Yeah, it happens with a lot of brands, dis- uh, like unassociating themselves with creators and artists and everything. It happens, right? Yeah. Um, that left Adidas in a little bit of a place, in a little bit of a situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, reportedly, Adidas had around three hundred million euros worth yeah. of. Stock left over. The headquarters in Germany, so that's the numbers they reported. Um, We've no idea what to do with it. Fast forward to what was it like March? Was it March? May? Maybe May time? Mid mid last year. Yeah. Um, <coughs> we had the, made an announcement. Didn't yeah, they? we had the first Yeezy day. Was it? E- it was a Yeezy, Yeezy day. Week. Bro. Was it? E- it was a Yeezy. Was it a Yeezy week? I can't remember. They, they Mate, were doing loads of map. drops though. Yeah. So I think that yeah, the first one was a Yeezy week, and you know you had the Azure slides. I can't remember what else dropped. To be honest, it was that long uh, ago. The MX Cinders. We had the Mix Cinder foam runners. Foam runners. Yeah, yeah. There were some three fifties. I think there were some reflective Belugas. Yeah, no, the, Belu- the oh, Beluga V twos. I some, think some like carbon Beluga shit. Yeah, basically. And then fast forward. When was it now? August. Fast forward to the towards the end of last year. Ish. Ish. Was, what, was that when we had another? I feel one? like it was August time. Yeah, that was the easy month. There were Love staggered it. releases across different uh, retailers as well because the first yeah, yeah. one was only Adidas. The next one was JD. Adidas JD, yada yada and yada. And they appeared on size. At one they point appeared on as well. size at one point. Um, at that point, Adidas announced that a percentage of the uh, profits from all Yeezy sales, a percentage was going to Kanye to the Yeezy brand, yeah. and a percentage was going to charity, and then they take a smaller percentage than that. Which we spoke about this a few times on on the episodes and on the show. Um, 
it's it's damage control. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. like they had to do something. They really did, and I. Yeah, I, it's I a respect business at the end that. of the day, isn't it? It's a business. So. Um, we're now here in February 2024, almost, almost two years, so about two and a half years from removed from. Nah, it's when, about one and a half, right? Sorry, I apologize. About, yeah, but one and a. One, one, one Almost year a year and a half removed That's from it. Yeezy uh, splitting up with Adidas. Um, I mean, they haven't split up, right? Like, they're, they're cracking on, they're still doing stuff. Well, um, kind of. Because ye- So, February 2024. Here we are. It started off with Adidas announcing new stock. Yeah. And that there were going to be releases real soon. And then you saw the CEO... Of Golden. Yeah, and Kanye West hanging out. So, you know, the we, we were just assuming, like, they're probably mm-hmm. talking about the releases and stuff like yeah. that. Next thing, uh, everyone gets a notification from the confirmed app saying, sign up right now, Yeezy 350 V2s. What's the colorway? Steel grey. The steel greys. Now, if you don't know the timeline... This is fine. If you're just an average consumer, this is just another shoe on sale. Yeah, it's just another Yeezy. Uh, or is it? About 12 hours after that, about, Kanye West uploads a image to Instagram of the Yeezy 350. Yep. With a, a large caption, pretty much titled, anyone who loves Yay." won't wear these fake Yeezys. Yeah. yeah. Essentially trying to boycott Adidas, really. He's, he's, te- he's, get, he's getting his people to be like, or his fans and followers to just be like, this is not my shoe. This no. is not what I signed up for. So, this- oh, Ye comes out, releases a video, uh, and pretty much vocalises a lot of the stuff that he's, he's written yeah. in the caption. Uh, the notable points are that this wasn't a sanctioned design. It has nothing to do with the Yeezy design team or even Kanye West. Kanye himself, yeah. Um, it's not sanctioned design. Adidas is suing him for $250 million for yep. breach of contract things. Um, that wasn't really explored too much no, about no, what no. that side of things was, but I imagine he probably doesn't want to explore that too much because it can get you in more legal trouble. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Um, they're suing him for $250 million uh, amongst a few other things which aren't related to this yeah we're not a gossip channel we're just reporting what happened right yeah um crazy i, I don't like it to be honest what right. crazy right. time so <sighs> mm. what have you got to say right it i did ask taking advantage of the easy brand and kanye west himself you know what i mean okay yeah and kanye's innovation and just putting his net... You know, he's not even getting any, anything from this, I don't think. I don't think he's not getting anything. Sure. I just think... I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. It's I like, don't know where to lie with it. I, well, I do know where I lie with it. I think if what has been said is true... Yeah, fuck out of this, man. Yeah, I think so. 100%. Um, yeah, like, they're, they're just, they're, just uh, they're stitching him up here big time. I think. Are they, though? Who I'd owns... The, the thing that I guess we need to define, right... And the things that we will probably not know for a while until yeah. something like a lawsuit happens is who owns the 350? Well, actually, you know what? I saw a post a while ago and Kanye West only owns the design for the slides. But for some reason, I just don't think... I can't... I can't. Be, I don't believe it. Because, mm. you know, it's designed, designed with Nike. It's designed, designed the early Yeezys, obviously, the 350s, the V1s. I, I just... I just I, I don't know. I just don't buy it. Like, Kanye yeah. West only gets, like... Money for the slides because he designed them, but I, I it's, that is not true. I, I, just I don't see how I don't. Trip. This is the thing. I think there's a lot of stuff we don't know, mm-hmm. um, and it, it all comes down to legality, right? Like it's legal stuff that maybe we're not even gonna understand. No, probably not. But <laughs> the main factors are there are now Yeezy colorways, which have the, the first one's been drawn. Now the three fifty st- steel grade, did we say? Yeah, that's been drawn on the sat because they stink. That's been yeah, the sat. You can probably get them, and, and no one who is a Ye that's like a proper Yeezy fan wants them. No, 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 no. Genuinely, this is for people like, that just think it's a Yeezy, which is fair enough, right? They don't want to dive into the politics oh man, it's of a, it all. It's a product, yeah. It's, uh, if you don't want to dive into the politics of it all, it's just a Yeezy, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I, I've got to a point now where I think 
it's like it's super disrespectful, man. But it's just the fact that Kanye had nothing to do with it, and it's his name, and yeah. they're just exploiting that. Uh, but but they had to do something. They they are, they're in a position. We, they, they've been saying this for months. They've got three hundred million euros worth of stock that they have to get rid of. Now, I don't know what the me. I've got I've got a fucking Kanye West tattoo. <laughs> Right, and I'm happy with that. I'm proud of that. I like it, but I don't get. I, c- I can never see between the lines. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, well, judging uh, we by... know what Kanye said. We know what Adidas are allowed to say with keeping the reputation because this could bury them. Yeah, if this is handled wrong, this yeah, yeah, could yeah. bury them. Because and I thought about this the other day. Sorry oh, to keep on, interrupting. Keep going, you. Keep I really apologise. I thought about this the other day. Right, let's look at Adidas's top shoes in the past few months. It's all casual wear. It's all sambas, gazelles, you know, reinventions, things like that. Not reinventions. Um, classic models. Yeezy revitalised Adidas in 2016. 100%. It was all Nike. It was, yeah. And he literally took really, over and blew Nike out of the water. They, that is a fact. Yeah. Like, there's a that's why I got into shoes. Yeezy is the reason we're sat here. Yeah. 100%. Those seas- The Yeezy seasons, the first few, the reason we're sat here. Yeah, honestly. Like... He endorsed the Ultra Boost massively, and that is one of the shoes that got me into, you know, because a lot say say go back a generation before us, mm-hmm. it was Michael Jordan, it was Jordan. Yeah, yeah. For me, it was Yeezy. 100%. And now, and like now, it's Travis Scott. Now it's Travis Scott. Yeah, you, yeah. It's, it's, you're absolutely yeah. right. And I think that is so sad. I know. Right. I, right. Fuck it. Fuck it. I, I, I like I like Kanye West. Just because I like him, don't mean I have to agree with everything he says. That's yeah, the no, thing. Right. You know, you could say that about anyone, mate. I probably don't agree with everything you say, but you're my best mate. You know what I mean? There you go. I'm you can like mate. stuff, and you don't have to, don't, just because you like them doesn't mean you agree with everything you say. People, it, right? people fuck I think, up. And I think a lot of people are scared to agree with Kanye West um, because of all the cancel stuff. and this. Other, I'm not going to get into that. We're not, no. we're not about that. We're literally just talking about shoes, but yeah, no. I'm, not, I'm with you, bro. With I don't know, yeah. I, and for me, I like the idea of, I mean, don't get me wrong, Kanye West is, Pretty powerful. Probably got some powerful people around him. You know, mm-hmm. good. He's got the money to get all the best lawyers and yada yada yada. But I like the idea of him trying to stand up against the big establishment that he's added. We'll see what and, happens. You know, we'll see David what happens. David versus Goliath sort of thing. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. It's a, it's it's a tale that's going to continue unfolding. So yeah. we will do our best to report on it when it happens. But that's what we think as well. Yeah, that's what I we think. think. And I'm, I, I, it's sad. It's so sad, especially when like you see a Yeezy drop now, and you're just like. But it's not even it's not even Kanye's work, right? Not even that. Like they just they, all the know. the soul of it's gone. Mm, it's just for oh, you know offloading dead weight. Adidas up. And Adidas, what, Adidas at the sneaker of the year awards saying they're going to go clear. Do you know what I mean? Like mm, oh yeah, yeah right. everyone better watch what we're going to do. Nah. We're going to sue Kanye West for two hundred and fifty million. Nah, I think I think this is the worst Yeezy of all time, just because of how the releases gone down and you know Kanye uncovering the news that he's not endorsed this shoe he's nothing to do with it mm-hmm. you know and I just think it the, to be fair they're not a very nice looking colour to be honest like yeah. but maybe if this whole thing hadn't happened my opinion would be different but I don't know for some reason maybe it might not be but I just um, think uh, it's a uh, we'll move on yeah, we'll move on in. that's our little Kanye <laughs> like, I don't, yeah whatever I'll say it you know what I mean yeah it's not fear to say it, you know what I'm saying? No, like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's weird. It's, it's a difficult situation. But anyway, yeah, we'll move off Adidas now because I'm I'm I've got, I've got a touchy relationship with him at the minute. <laughs> um, back to Nike. Back to Nike. Uh, <laughs> we have a lovely little event coming up, which we're not going to. Where, where's that? In London. Oh, in London. So, uh, new silhouette, which uh, premiered on the Supreme site. The oh, Air Max DN. It's been the talk of the town, uh, it? It's been absolutely the talk oh, of the town. Um, Nike hosted an event in uh, London at Hoxton Docks. Um, they are doing, okay. they're hosting the DN Car Boot. I'm just going to get the invite up on the sneakers uh, on the sneakers app. You can go There's there right now. That. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, DN Car Boot. Uh, it's from 6.30pm to 12am, so it's a nighttime event, oh, um, on the 8th of March. Now, we'll have an episode out the day before then anyway, so don't worry. We'll see if we can report any more. Currently, there's 3,200 tickets, but it is first come, first served. Um, the idea is, 
Find some gems in this car boot. Join us on the 8th of March at Ox and Docks for a car boot pop-up featuring performances from the likes of Lola Young, City Boy Mo, and Foundation FM. We've got it all with stall pop-ups from Soldier, Good Hood, Peachy Den, oh, yeah. Greater Goods, an Unreal Barber, Nail Artists, and more. Oh, uh, it's an cool. 18 plus event. Essentially, they've been promoting it across loads of um, archive places. Oh, so, man. for example, uh, Pass Down on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're part of it. They've oh, got a stall no there. Way. There's a few other places. Uh, Pass Down, Pass Down style yachty as well. They've they've had yachty uh, in the past, and uh, the guys from around here. Yeah. Um, wow. Ben from around here. So. That's cool. um, if you're London-based, crack on. So, is, crack on. is so? Are there any like hidden shoes at this event? Or? We don't know a lot right now. So the idea is it's a car boot. Mm. So um, knowing the way that people do stuff, I think they'll go. They'll got go to all be, in for there's it. There's got to be something. So it's the all black pair, which is is debuting, and it's essentially the the early access to them, right? To right. The event. Yeah. Yeah. As I say, I'm sure there was three thousand tickets last time. But there is 3,200 now, and it is first come, first serve. That's really good. Cool. Um, it's at Hox and Docks, 55 Laburnum Street. Um, if you can make it, definitely have a look. Go on the sneakers app. It is an 18 plus event because it goes on late. Definitely um, booze there, isn't it? Yeah, no. There's, yeah, there's bevs there as well. Um, so crack on. They'll be sold. That's at, cool. The MX DNs will be sold at retail price. Oh, we found some terms and conditions. Oh, I'm not reading that. No, you don't want to. I'm not reading the terms. What a. Uh, who who's doing stuff like that? Who's doing stuff like that, bro? Like what do you mean? Oh, the the brands. Yeah, who? What what brand is doing like all these events and stuff? Like Adidas. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a but lot. Even, even like I don't know. Uh, I there's feel, not a lot. No, there's not a lot. I feel like say like New Balance. I don't. I feel like for some reason they're not in a position to be doing that. Maybe they are. I don't know. I just feel like Nike just do it different with like the promo stuff of the, you know. Especially like with it being a new silhouette. Sorry, I was just finding the list of st- of stalls that are going to be there. Stop. So, wholesales, Peachy Den, Pass Down Store, Octai, Johanna Parv, Split Dat, Dolly, and Peak Television. I don't want to mess one out. Uh, there's also a lucky dip with unreal prizes to win from our partners. We're not even going, and I look at me sat here promoting it. Yeah, genuinely, um, the best thing I like about the, this community is meeting people and going down especially stuff like that we really wish we could go but yeah, yeah, just yeah. a little we'll, bit we'll, short we'll notice to arrange um, yeah that'll, that'll be some event I want to see that documented but the, the, the people socials. who go and obviously the people who are, who win the show on the first come first serve basis uh, will be some of the first people to have the Nike Air Max DN not in the Supreme other, form other than the Supreme ones yeah yeah because obviously they do the Supreme ones which essentially is just like a I don't want to say anthracite colourway, but no, well, uh, it, with sup on the side. Yeah, um, it's got the nice um, red and green detail on it, though. Yeah. Like on the mid right. it's really nice. Um, but get yourself down. I think yeah. it's class. That's a right event. I mean, yeah, if absolutely. Was, if, if we could go, that would be, that'd, I know, that'd be I some know. time. But We'll move to London. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, speaking on more Nike stuff, yeah. you was telling everyone about a shock drop that happened. Oh, man. So, yeah, there was a shock drop out of nowhere. And um, what we had was, at 9 o'clock on the sneakers app, we had the J Balvins, some baby Balvins. They were like some preschool ones or uh, something like that. Heritage Jordan 1s. Uh, and then we had Frozen Moment Jordan 4s and then the Union Jordan 1s. What day was this? This was on the Wednesday. This was on the 28th of Feb. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, really out of nowhere. You kind of just loaded up the night before on the sneakers app. And... One thing I want to know, right, is for those who don't have access mm-hmm. to, you know, Nike stock numbers and all this, do they think they have a chance? <laughs> like, do they think they, do they see J Balvin load up and they're like, <gasps> oh my God. It's mental. It's good. Is it, it's mental music. another release, um, you know? I know exactly what you're saying. Like, because um, like, I, mate, I'm, I'm going to be honest, without that. Without what, Max? <laughs> without Paragon Network. <laughs> Without Paragon Network, no, but on a real, without Paragon Network and the stock numbers, mm. I think I'd have a. Ch- I think I'd think that I've got a chance. It's a strange you know I mean? one, isn't it? Because I think before I was deep in the sneaker world, um, trying to get stuff for myself mm. and doing the resale stuff, this and the other, I always thought I had a chance, bro. Yeah, yeah. I honestly. always thought I had a chance, whether it was size launches, whether it was sneakers, whether it was any kind of raffle. 
I always thought I knew what was going on. Yeah. And I never fucking won anything. No, it's a madness. I isn't never it? won it's a madness. anything. Um, so shock drop on the sneakers at nine a.m. If you didn't have, if you weren't in some kind of cut group, you didn't. You literally didn't know. No. No. Yeah, well, this is um, it. I, I didn't even intend to use this as an opportunity. <laughs> no. To. Uh, to talk about Paragon Network, but we may as well. We, we may as well. We can just brush over when it. When did you find out about the shock drop? <laughs> the, Monday night. The, Monday night, something like that. It yeah, there on was uh, there, there was mumblings. There was and, mumblings. Uh, so you know we were prepared. We were kind of on. I our also toes. had stock numbers. The J of Art Balvins. I think there's only 116 pairs of. <laughs> yeah, which is um, mad. Literally, like, and 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 that right. So what one thing that's really good about that is, if there's 116 pairs, a you have to evaluate whether you're going to waste your time. Yeah, exactly. You could be at work. You could be at work. But you also, I mean? if there's only 106 pairs and no one, it's not been announced at all, you then you might chance. fancy your chances. Um, but... Go to the link in the description of this video. If yeah. you want to know what we're talking about, uh, click the link, get yourself half price off the first month. Yeah, way worth the investment. If Absolutely. you're into your shoes and stuff like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Uh, I think they've just announced the uh, raffle winners for the box logo hoodie. And I think the military black raffles. Come yeah, there's a military black. They said he'd do it today. They said he'd do it today. Has it, has it been done? Oh, it's yesterday. I don't know. We'll have a look. Well, yeah, we'll see if we've won. <laughs> I want to know if I've got a, a, a BOGO. Yeah. Because it was like an entry for a BOGO. But yeah, honestly, though, I think I think an important thing for that yeah. is the, to people like, you know, I mean, a few Facebook groups and stuff like that, and people post about the the, the drop happening, and like, do people actually think they have a chance? Like, that is a madness. No, Cause, no. Stock well, is is it's tragic, isn't it? It's yeah, not tragic. It's just a bit like fucking. I what's think, the what's the point? I mean, what else can they do with the shoe though? They can't just have them sat around. So I guess they've got to release them somehow. No, but this but, is it as well. And this is we were speaking about this about two weeks ago. We said Nike don't want you to have them. No, they want no. you to work hard for them. They want to make them a commodity. They want them to make them fucking gold. They want the resellers to get there first. They literally do. <laughs> but they're, they're harder to get to. Scarcity makes value. Yeah, the supply and demand. That's it, really. There we go, there's a little shock drop. Yeah, I don't know, I think... Yeah, it's just... It's mad, isn't it? When you see that... I think yeah. the Heritage ones had, like, 50 pairs, man. <laughs> um, that is a lot of the news, yeah. to be quite I, honest. There's a few that's... other bits. Let me see if I've got any honourable mentions in my saved file. Uh, what have we got? Just a few points. Uh, Puma is partnering with One Piece, the anime, uh, to make a few Puma... Uh, Suede's, yeah, Puma Suede's. There's the new Bape silhouette, the Croster. There's also the Crosters. Uh, kind of going on that sort of, kind of looks like a New Balance sort of A6 sort of vibe to that. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they'll get sued. <laughs> uh, a new Joe Fresh Goods, uh, New Balance, New Balance One Thousand. Yeah, has that, been I saw, I saw early. that. Did you see who leaked it? Who leaked it? So. Um, there's this page that I follow on Instagram. Well, not just me. A lot of people do. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Uh, but because it's a full Instagram handle, yeah. I think it's it's, it's Wo Wogan Wo De Yang. Okay. Um, I'll maybe link it in the below or something like that. And essentially, they posted um, a photo of some of the new loafers, the 1906 loafers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they posted a picture of these new Fr Joe Fresh Goods. Yeah. And New Balance messaged them on Instagram oh. saying, "You shouldn't have these pictures. Take them down." Oh, and that's they got taken mad. Obviously, they were already everywhere. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But what? What? As soon as it gets posted, bro, it's out there. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. A uh, few other bits. Oh, I'll just reel off before we do what's coming up in the week. Um, the Salehi Benbury Junipers with okay. Crocs. Uh, there's another colourway of them, uh, which is like a green and orange one. Uh, we still don't know when they're coming. No. But they should be coming just, soon. Just on those uh, Joe Fresh Goods, Fresh Goods real quick. Do you think the colouring looks, uh, the colours sort of look similar to the Air Max 97 Skeptors? The like Ooh. bronzy ones, you know. I swear, because yeah, no, when I, I, yeah. I, I only briefly saw them, I saw the colour. I was like, it kind of looks like Skepta. Yeah, that's ninety seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, did you hear about Skepta? I'm, I'm Skepta. Oh yeah, did you hear about Skepta? I went to see Tribal Mark. Oh yeah, I went to see uh, Skepta's short film in the Everyman Cinema uh, near where we live, um, and it was really good. What was it, was it really about? Good. Uh, so it's about a um, an African migrant kid who moves to the UK, grows up in the UK, uh, gets arrested, this, that, and this. It's only a short film, 
Um, but he's, it's essentially kicking off a series of like a hitman called Tribal Mark. Oh, all right. Uh, which the adult version was played by Skepta at the very end and during this f- uh, film as well. I don't know where you can see it, but genuinely no. go watch it because um, at the Everyman Cinema they showed it for one night only and we watched a Q&A afterwards as well. well that's really cool. Um, really good. Big up to Dan, who uh, we met there. So I went. With, so my name's Jack. I went with <laughs> my, my mate Dan. Uh, and uh, from Metric Mates, and there was another guy there called Dan. There was only three of us in the entire cinema. Yeah, me, Dan, and Dan. What was Dan's last name? My name. Oh. So it was the spookiest experience, uh, <laughs> but it was quite funny. Um, so big ups, big ups to Dan. Big ups to Dan. I'll that's maybe cool, cut that man. bit because I didn't want to dox Dan. There they are. Wait, that's so like like the skeptics. Yeah, absolutely. They oh, are nice. Cool. They are nice. But that was a leaked, a leaked early. Um, last thing I just wanted to talk about, uh, which kind of led off the New Balance thing. New Balance's sales spiked twenty three percent last year. I'm not surprised. I uh, think which equated it. to, I'm literally reading the hype beast article, which is terrible from me. But I go for it. Bro. Which equated to six point five billion US dollars in sales. That's quite a lot. Um, obviously, a lot of the collaborations that they were doing, a lot of the revitalization of New Balance into the fashion world. Mate, it just keeps into, going. It keeps, it just keeps going. carrying on. They, they became a contender. A couple really years did. strong now. Like they've been seriously up in this game. And yeah, yeah. You can only see it going up. For me, yeah, when I was outside the New Balance bubble, it was the protection packs that brought me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuinely, it was the yeah. protection packs. Yeah. Um, but that is pretty much it. That, other than the news. The news. Other than what's coming up. Yeah, other than what's coming up in the <laughs> yeah. week. Um, There's quite a lot, but, you know. Oh, I, one more thing. Um, Adidas Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shell Toes. Um, they they were meant to be coming out at the end of February and we haven't seen them at all. Oh, mad. Um, so keep an eye out for them. I hate it when stuff like that happens. They are talking about releasing it as a series as well. Okay. Um, so obviously these are the red ones, which aren't Raphael, by the way, for all you people who are saying it's Raphael. It's <laughs> not. They used to all have red eye masks. In the original comics, it was all uh, black and the, white comics. In the original one, right, yeah, right. So it's a homage to that. And you get a comic book with it. Right. Um, but keep an eye out for that because we spoke about it and a lot of people were keen to hear about it as well. Yeah, obviously in the uh, colour colour animated version, if you like, they all had different eye masks. Yeah, yeah like when they when they revitalised the series yeah, a few yeah, years yeah. later, they give them all yeah? individual personalities and colours. Okay, let's go. Upcoming releases. Upcoming releases for the week. Yeah, so there's quite a lot. Uh, so ones that you know, th- there is a lot, but these are the ones that you know didn't have time to fit them all in. Yep, go for it. You know, so the first of March we've got needles, Asics gel, NYC, black, purples. So and that's today. Yeah, so that is on the first of March. That is today. I don't know what to think of these. They've got they've done a few needles collaborations in the past. I think it's a, it's a, it's a streetwear brand. I don't know a lot about. Them. No, neither do I. But. They've done collabs in the past and they have sat and they have gone on sale and a big sale as well. But these ones, I think the silhouette's a bit more popular. So I don't know. I don't know if yeah. there'll be an easy cop or whatever. But you, ASICs, you can probably have them. Yeah, ASICs website, £175. Jobs are good. Same day, 1st of March. New Balance, Today. 1906 R's. Licorice, metallic teal and blue multi are dropping. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, some nice pastel colours. I thought I'd throw them in there. £150. Probably an easy easy buy. I think they're quite nice. Yeah. On the same day, Friday, today, we've got the Adidas Samba Made in Italy Black Gums. Do you know how much these are? The Adidas Samba Black Gums. Made in Italy. Made in Italy. Uh, I want to say they're 145. They are 280 pounds. And you... <laughs> are they leather? Yeah. Okay. So... I think quality is going to be a big thing on these. Mm-hmm. I don't know, 280 quid for a Samba. Is, is... this one still on the 1st of March? No, yeah, this is the same day. Cool, I've got one to throw in the mix as Go well. On, Look, keep, keep talking about these, the Sambas. Well, I mean, 280 quid for a Samba. I saw a raffle on End and on Confirmed, I believe. I think it was Confirmed. Yeah, Confirmed. So, I mean, I can see them sitting just because of the retail. I mean, if you want, if you want the Samba for two hundred and eighty quid, be my guess. I just think there'll be an easy cop for that retail. Yeah. Right. Uh, my little one. Um, they uh, we don't usually talk about Reeboks actually. Oh, knock yourself out. But um, in size, I saw on Size's Instagram. Yeah. Uh, it was actually Size Leads because that's our local one. Yeah. They are releasing some like denim, some Japanese denim club C's and classic leathers, which I actually think are really, really nice. Um, okay. They are. Using sashiko, which uh, is a form of decorative reinforcement stitching from Japan. I am just reading it straight off their Instagram. No problem. Um, they're in store today, apparently. 
Um, oh. So check them out. They've got sizes from 7 to 11. These ones? No. No, okay. Uh, and they are... The club sees are 75 quid. The classic leathers are £100. They, they are I'll really nice. Type mean, in um, Reebok Sashiko. I can't spell that. S-A-S-H-I-K-O. S-A-S-H-I-K-O. Nah. I mean, I'll just show you them. They're, they're in my hand. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, some really so, cool decorative... Yeah. I'll put the picture up if I can screenshot their Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, no, really cool. Reebok, man. Nice, they've got some nice silhouettes. I like the classics and stuff like that. But yeah, cool. apparently in get, get store, enough, but... uh, tomorrow, in, or today, in size. So check that out. Yeah, Because um, they, they, they do look really nice. And as I say, we don't talk about Reeboks a lot. No. Um, no. Uh, should we move on? Sorry, yeah. No, move I was just on, looking at pictures of them. Yes, later on. So let's, yeah, so, after today. Yeah, so tomorrow, the 2nd of March, Air Jordan 5, Olives. If you like fives, I'm, I'm not a five guy, but I think... Five guys. Yeah, it's a nice colorway, hundred and ninety pounds. So it gets expensive. It is a lot. Yeah, and then on the third of my hatch, we got the Adidas Vera God Athletics basketball shoes in clay, and then on the same day, the Fear of God Athletics Los Angeles shoes in clay. So we had the Fear of Gods in last time. I can't remember what silhouette that was. That they were sort of stompers reimagining, if you like. The Fear but, of God stompers. Yeah. So. This is just Fear of God, Jerry Lorenzo's take on the Adidas LA. Nice. Uh, the basketball shoes will be 220 220 pounds. The sneakers will be £150. Let's try and get them in. Job's good, huh? Yeah. Uh, the Nike Zoom Vermeero 5. Nice pair of shoes, man. Vermeros have been, have been trying to pop off. Yeah, for, they've for been popping now. off, man. Uh, light or wood brown. They're going to be releasing on the 5th of March. Cool. So uh, you, can probably, you can pick them up in a lot of uh, sizes, yeah. hips. Probably a sneakers app as well. They, they won't be there. Yeah. They won't be, they'll be there for a while, I think. So, I'm going to leave the one that's on the 5th of March till last. Okay. We'll go to the 6th. Jordan 1 Dusted Clay. They look like a red panda. Dusted Clay. Yeah. I don't know. Not my thing, really. But cool. size, Foot Patrol, all them sort of usual sites. Sneakers as well. £185. 9th of March, a nice Jordan 4. Air Jordan 4, white and gold. Similar to the Frozen um, Moments, £190. Yeah, they were very frozen. They're women's sizes as yeah, well. Yeah, that's so a women's exclusive. They'll go to about size nine. Yeah, nine and a half, about that. But yeah, let's just rewind to the 5th of March. Rumour has What's it. What's happening on the 5th of March? Rumour has it we've got the Travis Scott Jumpman Jacks in the sale. Jumpman Jacks. So, in the sale? Or on sale? In the sale colour. Oh, in Sorry. the sale. I thought you meant Sale colour. It was a sale. Yeah, so the ones that shot dropped on his website mm-hmm. at the Grammy performance. They're going to be releasing... Apparently, price to be confirmed, it'll probably be about 150, 170 pounds. I wouldn't be surprised if we were looking at it too. <laughs> for what they are, it's quite a big build for I a shoe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, I wouldn't be surprised. Like the, with the Jordan Four price, well, it's just that the for... release for I can't remember how how many dollars it was, but yeah. the, the release for X amount of dollars on the Travis Scott website. Like 170. Well, yeah, it equated to 150 pounds. Oh, did about it? Yeah, that. So, so like around that area, right? So they're going to be releasing. Maybe fingers crossed. It's not loaded up anywhere, but keep it locked, man. Keep it locked. I think. Big shoe. Yeah, and we will definitely have a lot to say about that next week, I assume, if it happens. And we'll track it every um, <laughs> Other than that. That is us. That is absolutely us. Shout out to Soul Cube. Use code firm at soulcube.co.uk. Paragon you, Network. I was just about to do that. If you want to know how to get the latest releases and you want to be part of a community which will guide you through it, it's literally their jobs to get you shoes. Head to the link in the description, get half price off your first month. Also, just as a little side note, um, supporting them supports us as well. Same with Soul Cube, same with Paragon Network. Um, another thing that you can do to support us uh, is just have a comment, like, yeah. subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, interact with us on social media because we are very active on there and keep it locked as well because we're looking at doing some more YouTube series uh, where we do some where we visit some sneaker stores and stuff like that in the area go out in the wild we're going to go out in the wild bro yeah man. Um, I've heard there might be another event that we'll be appearing at soon yes. possibly in the next two months which I will let you know about we'll see how that later yeah see how thank it you goes. very much for tuning in subscribe like comment goodbye see you in the next one <laughs>